Don't tell me what some police officer did or said or what a DA allowed Patrick to plead to because they knew that this was all childish boyfriend, girlfriend this stuff. This is not childish, no, Your Honor. No, it wasn't. But they treated it in such a way that it would not stain him permanently. As you well know, he's not doing 5 to 15 for child pornography. They said, what you did was the wrong thing to do. Don't do it again. And you have to plead guilty, which he did, of something of a minor, endangering a minor. Whatever. Your Honor, I would also like to throw out here evidence from the Murrieta Police Department's report where the family wants to make Patrick look as though he sexualized their daughter. Oh, he did not. Listen, Miss Atkins, there are twofold issues in this case. One, whether you're entitled to money for your computer. And I've already determined that you are. That despite the fact that he gave, loaned, Whatever the computer, when the relationship is over, what she should have done is not sell it. What she should have done was return it to him. And for that, I am awarding you a mean figure of what I see of $900. The second thing has to do with the phone. And you say it was a phone that you bought for him and that she ran away with. I don't believe his story. Let's start out with that. His story that there was no suggestion in the car, Patrick, that you still had possession of the photographs. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. You may like it. You may not like it. Your grandmother may like it, may not like it. That was the risk she took when she came here. Got it? Yes, Your Honor. Good. So you don't get the phone back or any part of it. Now I'm dealing with the second part of the case, which is your accusation that your daughter was falsely arrested for stealing the phone. Now, those charges were ultimately dropped, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, the bottom line is she took the phone, correct? Yes. She didn't like the pictures on the phone, right? Yes. So you took the phone. You did, in fact, pose for the pictures. I'm sorry? You did, in fact, pose. in selling your computer. She wasn't innocent in taking the phone. I just want to show that I... I don't phone care record. what you want. That show that it was this is not your after she stole this is it not, and it wasn't destroyed. This is, not, this is not your case anymore. This is their case. And the only allegation in their case is that their daughter was falsely arrested. She wasn't. She took the phone, right? Yes. She took the phone. She had no right to take the phone. She reacted as a teenager might, but she took the phone. Now, when she took the phone, now she had possession of it. Did she tell you about it the same day? Just look at me. Did she tell you that she had the phone the same day? No. Okay. So do you understand what I mean? They lie. And what your problems are as grandparents or someone who stands in local parentis to their 19-year-old because he can't get along with his father, and you who are the mother of a 15-year-old who clearly has a lot of growing up to do is you can't believe a word they say. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck.